Apple Tech has all kinds of applications for health as well as education, but today we're going to focus on the entertainment aspect. Maybe a little arts and fashion in there too. So take a look at this. I'm going to get Todd, the co-founder of this particular sub pack. What exactly is this pack all about? What can it do? So this is a tactile audio system. What it does is it translates the music or whatever content you put into it into low frequencies. And it gives you the sensation that you're actually at a concert, you're in a video game, you're in a VR experience, or at a silent disco, you feel that there's a huge sound system. Okay, so there's like these pulsating kinds of things happening to my body, yes? Yeah, so it feels like there's l large sound waves that are hitting your body. It gives you that sensation of being there, but it's quiet to you and it's quiet to everyone else around you. Give me a little, give me a little. I'm gonna give you a little. You ready? So this feels kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of fun. You can really get the beat. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Cool. Cool. Yeah, you just got to try it to believe it. We're going to go check out some more at the show right now. For kids who entertain themselves while zoned out in front of an iPad, these slap-on wristbands get them moving around and making sounds while doing so. Think ninja moves and tennis racket swooshes. Fashion is also a huge part of the show. This is EL Clothing. It stands for Electroluminescent, and it gives you info about your latest texts or biorhythms while looking stylish. Same goes for these gadgets, which are disguised as fashionable jewelry. Toy lovers might want to design their own creations on 3D printers. And then there's this. Virtual reality headgear that takes you inside a David Cronenberg film. It's super freaky. And like all tech, wearable tech can be a bad distraction or fun entertainment. Use at your own discretion. But by all means, do do this at home. Back over to you guys.